This is the Raising Carter Podcast. I am your host, Ramon Weatherall Sr. And I got a question for you. What is a father's worst nightmare? Well, I got something that could be any father's worst nightmare. First of all, a man should never put his children in danger. His son, his daughter, the mother of his children. You should never put your put them in danger. I don't care what you got going on. Never put them in danger. But a father, your worst nightmare is your daughter, if you're fortunate enough to have a grandson to be, or granddaughter to be associated with an idiot. Someone who doesn't have their best interests in mind. And if you want to see that in live, in living color, I got a video for you. Check this video out right here. He said, relax, you're on a high speed chase with your baby mama in the, in the car, your toddler son, your newborn son. And he talking about relax. She telling them they got guns drawn and everything. And it's fool talking about You're not relax. thinking about your baby right now. You finna get our baby too, bro. Bro, they gonna smoke you. You already did it the first time, bro. Don't do this shit again, bro. Well, I love y'all. I'm never bro. gonna see y'all again. Bro, we no. love you more, bro. You is gonna see us again, but you gotta pull over, bro. You have to, bro. Pull over with your hands in the air, Dayan. Bro, it's over with. Bro, Dayan, pull over. Can somebody please tell me why he's recording this? Why are you recording this? That's why. Why are you? Re, that's the only. That's the. Rec, is it, man? Is is it that important for attention? Even in your worst moment, you still need attention, boy. In your worst moment, you still need attention. Don't give a shit about your baby, bro. I, do. I love both of y'all. They pull the fuck over, the bro. Fuck you you think think I live for? Bro, you finna get us fucking killed, bro. They got guns pointed to the car, bro. Bro. Are you serious right now, bro? Pull over. Let us out. For some shit that bro, I Bro, let us out. The fucking matter. Who the fuck did it? Let me the fuck out my fucking baby. I'm not finna keep telling you. like there's an embrace happening inside the car between the driver and the person that's in the back seat um, who presumably now has the child as it appears the driver will get up Jim and turn himself in he's obviously distraught you make a great point though Jim you've done this you did this for your profession um, you're in consulting now it, everything that you have to deal with when you're dealing with a situation like this where it's just a robbery suspect and then there's this another car involved and then you never know and now a baby um it's uh it's and now we're seeing the, oh, the woman in the back woman clearly in the back. yeah with the baby well it does look like there's it would be difficult for the vehicle to move and i think it's going to be a safe conclusion which is uh, the most important factor and we can sort of decipher now um 
next, next steps. You know, there's always a story behind that that's unfortunate. Uh, of course, we want to look out for the victims, but there's always troubling uh, details when uh, that involves human beings when you're involved in crime. A man never puts the people he loves in danger. I don't care who you talk to. I don't care where they from, what gang, what hood, whatever. They're not trying to put the people that they care in danger. What they do is what they do. But the problem is when you want to live a life that you not that you not suited for, that you not made for is is how you make mistakes like this. You should have stayed in school. You should have got A's and good grades like your mama wanted you to because being a street dude and being a gangster ain't you. Who leads police on a high speed chase with a son, a newborn child or daughter in, in the car with, they, with, their, with the baby mama screaming at them to pull over? Man, you could have stopped that miles ago and just pulled over and be like, man, it's, I'm not even going to do this. This ain't the time. This ain't the place for this. You know, I got innocent people. I got civilians in the car. No. And then you don't take this to trial. Don't don't be stupid enough to try to take this to trial. Just take whatever they offer you, because if you are dumb enough to try to go to trial, that judge, female, male. They're going to throw you under the jail because. Is, is whatever you did to lead up to this robbery, carjacking, whatever, okay. But the, the, the nail in the coffin for you, for your life, when you threw your life, the moment you threw your life away is the moment you pulled off with that kid, with that baby in the back seat. That's when you threw your life away, boy. That's what, cause you're not a man, boy. When you, you threw your life away, when you drove off with that baby in the car, because they are going to hang you for that. So any young man or man watching this, like an OG told me, don't bring nobody else into your shit. What you do, you do. You go down by yourself. Don't bring nobody else into yours. And that's what men and young men and fathers need to tell your sons. Don't bring nobody else into your mess, man. And especially not your children. And on the other hand, young ladies, Fathers with daughters, you are the first man that your daughter is going to love. So you need to be a good role model for her so she knows what kind of man are acceptable. If this young lady would have never chosen this idiot to have a child with, she would have never been in this situation. Yes, we all make mistakes. We all, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes in picking people and this and that. But some mistakes can be, some mistakes can be preventable. And the thing that we don't do as parents is help our children understand relationships, how to pick a person to be with. That's something we don't even talk about. We don't even talk about. We just let our kids go out here and make all kinds of mistakes and relationships and F they life up with people because we don't even talk about it. And I know most, I know if you're a father, I know probably 90% of you aren't talking to your daughters about boys and relationships and 
who they should be with and how they decide they want to be with. We, you're not talking about that. Don't, don't even lie. Cause you're not doing, you know why you're not doing it? Cause I didn't do it. Cause I didn't do it. I didn't do it for my older daughters. I didn't do it. So I'm not going to sit up here and act like I did it. So if I didn't do it, I'm willing to bet you didn't do it. And that's why this young lady, even if her father's even around, he might not even be around, but you pick guys like this that lead you on a high, have you on a high speed chase with the police guns drawn. He's on live acting like he, he talking about he going to end it all talking real crazy. This is a father's worst nightmare. And you know, you want to know how you prevent that is be in your daughter's life. Be in your son's life so he don't do something this stupid. And be in your daughter's life so she possibly don't pick an idiot like this. Or you are there to say, uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, you can be mad at me, but him you will not be seeing. Him you will not be going out with over my dead body. You can hate me all you want, but it ain't going down. And that is this episode of the Raising Carter Podcast. I'm your host, Ramon Weatherall. And if you got any value from this episode, check out the rest of our playlist. And if you want more, I'll be back for you.